Well, good morning. It's uh, Monday, August 1st, 2022. And this is the Uinta Canyon Camp, or pardon me, Uinta Canyon Trailhead that I'm going to be heading up. So it's uh, cloudy today, probably about like 60, 61, somewhere in there. I think this is about just a little over 7,000 feet here. And here's the trailhead information. And the trail starts right here. This is in the Ashley National Forest. My Ashley Boo. My Jakey Boo. And this is where the trail starts right here. So this is where we're going to be going, gang. We'll catch you on the trail. All right, let's start this a little before eight, so that's good. Okay, so I'm just uh, really just getting started. Followed the uh, the trail was really on a road for a yeah, quarter mile, and <clears throat> we're working our way up to uh, what's called Sheep Bridge. We'll cross the Uinta River there, which is on the left, and then we'll really start going up a big, big climb up a series of long switchbacks. I heart switchbacks. So I'll film a minute or so of this, but it's not going to be uh, much more to see. Did see a uh, bald eagle sitting by by a pond on the ground on the way in. Took a picture of him with my cell phone, but basically just see his white head. And did see a little doe muley. There's been a bunch of tracks. And to start this off, I love you, Trisha and Ashley and Jacob. And I will be thinking of you every minute of this trip. And I love you. So let's enjoy the ride. So we're going, hopefully.
<clears throat> Thought I'd take a picture or a video. It's like probably beavers have this dammed up the rivers down in there in the trees. Get an occasional glimpse. And there's a kingfisher on this pond, and there was one on the previous one I took a photo of. So, still, there he goes, still working our way to the sheep bridge, so. Okay, so hopefully you can see the trail marker. So to the right is the Uinta River Trail. Um, I'm gonna go left to Atwood Basin. My plan is tentatively to do this loop, but I'm not really sure how far I can make it on that last day and still make it back to Salt Lake and catch my plane and I'm not sure if there's any campsites if I want to get like a you know come down as far as I can so I don't know we'll see uh, we'll play it by ear um, but for today so we'll start heading up Atwood Basin here and we're gonna cross the sheep bridge any point around here now so we'll keep moving
So the sheep bridge, the trail budgie, and uh, a yeah, campsite here. So I don't know, depending on what happens on the next couple days, we'll see what happens. down the way we came from. A whole bunch of trail buddies. So I'm just starting and it is going to be a lot of up and Trissy, I heart switchbacks because this is going to be about, I don't know, I know it's over a thousand feet. So, thinking of you, but I probably won't record too much of it because it's going to look, look a lot like this. But you can see two guys just ahead of me on the trail. There aren't too many people in here, I don't think, right now. So, climbing up the switchbacks. Lots of climbing. You can see the river down through there. Join me on a section of switchback for a minute. Sorry about that, I forgot I was recording. <laughs> So we're looking back the way I came, 
and it's about coming up on quarter after 11, 10 after somewhere. So I've been going for three hours, time to stop, and uh, my stomach's saying it's past lunchtime at home. I gotta go up that way. So I'm gonna drink the rest of my water and then top that off and keep going. So, we are still climbing up, but the worst of the switchbacks is behind us, I think. And we're just finally reaching the wilderness boundary. So, we're making progress. <clears throat> but it's a, it's a rough trail. Very rocky from the horses, and uh, a lot of elevation gain. So, welcome to the High Uintas Wilderness, everyone. <clears throat> we'll keep going, see what happens here. Starting to see some walls of the hilltop up there, but it doesn't look like we'll have much of a view yet for a while. Up we go. So we're still working our way up. This is Krebs Creek, which we'll be crossing not too long from now. Try to get a shot. Very pretty. This is the way we came from. Going that way, of course, it's twisting and turning, so we're essentially going up that way. Now we're starting to get where Getting some views of this creek. We're probably getting close to wherever we gotta cross it.
Yes, I am using poles. This is a rough trail, quite rough. And I gotta tell you, it's a butt kicker too. It is every bit the butt kicker that the trail up in Grove Aunt was. So Krebs Creek, we got to cross it. Give it a whirl on those logs over there, conveniently placed. Stand by for the mayhem. This is where horses come in handy. We'll call that a success. <laughs> it's very pretty. It's pretty warm. So we're, we're right at 10,000 feet, 10,032 according to Gaia. And we've come like 8.8 .8 miles. And I gotta tell you kids, this trail is a butt kicker. It really is. So I've been uh, going, playing accordion back and forth with some four guys fishing, two brothers, older brothers, and I believe their sons. And, uh, well, fishing, they're coming up here, they're gonna stay at Chain Lakes this week and fish. And rain's supposed to move in tonight, actually around dinner time, and there's supposed to be thunderstorms tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes. But between this trail kicking my butt the way I feel from traveling yesterday, that stunk. Yesterday's, man, I did not feel good last night. Anyway, but doing okay. This is a butt kicker. So we got maybe about a mile to the first of the, the to lower chain lake. I'm gonna just basically find the first good campsite up on there, those lakes. I mean, looked like middle looked really nice, but we'll see how things are. And keep going, so yeah. Krebs Creek. Let's go. Yeah, so the weather forecast, of course, keeps changing, and basically the mountains are going to do whatever the heck they want anyway. But it's supposed to be cloudy tomorrow with thunderstorms in the afternoon. Well, I think it's gonna, I think this place gets thunderstorms about every day, but a little earlier in the day. If that's the case, I may be spending a couple nights at uh, Chain Lakes. We'll see. Hope you're enjoying the hike. It was a lot of work to bring you here with me. This is a rough, rough trail. And a lot of up. Whole way. Well, I think we're closing in on the lakes. The trail has leveled out a bit, <laughs> a lot. There's a butt kicker, like I said. That part after crossing uh, the Krebs Creek Little, bit, little ways uphill, man, that was brutal. So we are really close. You can see the vegetation has changed since we're up higher. Hopefully the, there'll be a good shot of lake approach coming up.
Should be seeing the lake there. So this is Lower Chain Lake. Right here. And I need to probably get the tent set up because here she comes. And there's not much water in that. All right, well, I'm gonna walk around and see what I can find. Okay, so it is uh, just a few minutes till five, first night. Uh, got camp set up. I found a pretty decent spot. I'll show you around. Uh, there's the tent. Pretty good area. Um, kind of sheltered from the wind, which will be, you know, mostly coming off the lake. And uh, it's supposed to be west or southwest pretty much the whole time. So I didn't. Uh, didn't <clears throat> record any of me setting it up because it was actually there was a some uh, some rain coming. It just sprinkled a little bit, but I got everything set up. It took me a little bit when I got in here to to find a good spot. And I'm getting some dinner ready now. I got uh, a little bit more food than will <laughs> than will fit in my uh, container there, so I'm gonna have to hang some. As soon as I set my pack down. Over here, I started pulling stuff out. I threw some uh, M&Ms on the ground. Started setting the tent up. I looked around and there's a chipmunk. Already found it, so yeah. Definitely don't leave your stuff on the ground unattended. So anyway, so this is camp. Um, walk over here, this is Lower Chain Lake. Uh, <clears throat> I was kind of wanting to go to Middle Chain, which is just up at the north end of this, which is what we're looking at right now. Um, but between the weather rolling in and me being absolutely blown out by that, that was quite a hike. That was like nine miles and 3,000 feet. So <clears throat> anyway, this is a look at the lower chain lake. The water level is pretty low, um, but that's where I'm getting my water from. And that's like the, that might be King's peak up there I don't know I'd have to look but that's where the high 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 stuff is uh, I'm gonna play it by ear I'm pretty beat both from my traveling on Sunday and today I may change plans and just hang out here for a couple days do some day hiking I'm not sure we're gonna see anyway I'll go down here I gotta keep my eye on the water it's not gonna take too long to boil but show you a little bit more of what we're seeing here and then back up towards camp here <clears throat> so and the trails I don't know the trail goes along this side of the the east side of the lake and it's about I'm, I'm, a, I'm sure I'm 200 feet off of it so anyway this is camp for a day or two got a old dead snag here with a couple nails sticking out of it so it's kind of convenient anyway that'll probably wrap it for today because i'm pooped i'm gonna make my food and that's gonna be it have a good night take care everyone it's uh i love you and i miss you good night guys we'll try that again take care everyone i love you and i, and I miss you good night everybody Well, good morning, everyone. <clears throat> you get to see my uh, ugly mug this morning. It's uh, about quarter after eight, and yeah, I'm in the tent. Uh, it was a rainy night, and here's the view from outside the tent. <clears throat> Looking through the bug screen, there's a few mosquitoes. Um, <clears throat> I'll open it up for you. 
Good morning, everyone. It's uh, like 20 after 8 on uh, Tuesday, August 8th, and uh, I'm in the tent. Yes, I am. But uh, <laughs> uh, it's uh, it rained much of the night, and uh, it's still raining now, uh, just very lightly off and on. But the uh, the high elevations are socked in, so I will take you outside a little bit later on when I, when I get a little break in the in the rain <clears throat> um, so this changes the plans considerably um, I'm not too disappointed because I was really beat up from yesterday um, but yeah I was going to continue on north and try and make it over a couple of the, the passes and into Painter Basin that was the original plan and do this loop <clears throat> losing this day I think is going to force me to not be able to do that loop so we're probably going to call this base camp and just do day hikes from here today is supposed to be rainy cloudy it actually uh <clears throat> was supposed to be a little sunny this morning it's not um, i don't think we're going to get it so uh probably not too much video but uh just want to say good morning and uh, tell my family how much i love them and uh, having my coffee i did get out <laughs> did get out for you know 20 minutes in between the raindrops here to get some breakfast and I wound up getting chased back in with my coffee here so yeah just gonna chill uh, do some reading but I'll take you out and show you the show you what things look like when I get a break in the rain so we'll see you in a little bit okay so I got a <clears throat> little break here in the rain so I'll take you down and show you what we're looking at while I finish my coffee here and uh, yeah, so the forecast as of yesterday when I left town, it was supposed to be sunny in the morning, but clouding up from about noon, and then thunderstorms <clears throat> in the afternoon, and uh, <clears throat> already today, it's uh, there's there's really not much sun. There's a break in the clouds, a couple breaks right now, but uh, you can see up there little blue sky but all the weather seems to be coming right down this chute here and the you can see the tops are socked in and even that lower one periodically disappears so it is not a day to be going over high passes uh, there's a little sun on the on the eastern face of that ridge over there kind of nice still a couple drops falling on me right now but uh so yeah today is uh Probably going to be a lot of off and on rain, <clears throat> so I'll stay close to camp, rest up, read. Um, I think the next couple days are supposed to be nice, so I think my plan is going to be uh, spend the next two nights here, just day hike, check out these lakes. Maybe uh, Roberts Pass is the next one to the north. There's two, Roberts and Trail Rider Pass that would get you into Painter Basin. And Atwood Lake is in between those, so maybe I'll, if it's nice <clears throat> tomorrow or something, oh, there's a rainbow. Uh, tomorrow, maybe I can get up there and at least look into where Atwood is, so. All right, well, it's starting to rain on me again here, so. Let me go shelter, so. Pretty cool, though. Hopefully you can see that rainbow. Little sun over there. It ain't gonna last long. All that stuff we're looking at is coming this way. So, while the rain is holding off for a minute, I just walked, uh, this is uh, to the east of camp here. Um, actually, you can see the sun for the moment. Um, on the other side of the trail from where my camp is, and on the other side of uh, Lower Chain Lake, just a little pond here that's pretty, pretty neat, not far from camp at all, so I just walked over. Did see some elk tracks uh, once I got up high here yesterday. We're somewhere over 10,000 feet up here, and I just, uh, a lot of deer and elk poop around. So they're here. Just went by a big pile of elk poop. And uh, <clears throat> so, just give you a, a look here. But yeah, when the, when the weather clears up a little bit here, maybe we'll go exploring around a little bit more and take some day hikes. So it's definitely a very pretty area. Uh, you actually can see my tent from over there. If you look, <clears throat> I think I can zoom. 
No, no, I can't with a... All right, anyway, I'm rambling. Enjoy the view. Well, things have made a turn for the better, guys. It is uh, just a few minutes till three, which would be just a few minutes till five at home. But that's looking west. And man, I hope the last 24 hours or so of crummy weather are behind us. Look at this, very nice. So I'm just a little bit, let's see, camp is, uh, camp is right up in there. Yeah, right there. And uh, so the last bout of rain was coming through, or I didn't know it was gonna be the last, but uh, crawled in because it started raining and about 1.30 or so, woke up because the sun was hitting me, it was getting warm in the tent and I'm like, man, I got out and there was some blue sky and I did check by the way that is Mount Emmons I believe is the name of it not Edmund Emmons and it's uh, 13,400 and change this this lake lower chain lake is 10,500 and change so as of yesterday, there was still a chance of thunderstorms this afternoon, which I could see happening. I did watch a couple thunderheads build because now the ground's heating up. And, but man, talk about better crew. So here's a <laughs> here's a smile. So yeah, and no shirt. It's actually warm out. Uh, hopefully, it won't get too warm. But uh, yeah, so. Much better, uh, much more comfortable. Things can dry out. Um, tomorrow, hopefully uh, go north on the trail and I will just go as far as I can and enjoy. I'll just throw some food and water and rain gear in the pack. And uh, we'll go that way. And that Mount Emmons, the ridge comes down to the right and uh, Roberts Pass is off farther to the uh, east that way. But that ridge comes down and Roberts Pass goes right where that kind of ends and then that's into Atwood Basin where Atwood Lake is so I'll try that tomorrow but uh, yeah it's three o'clock in the afternoon so it's kind of late to start anything today but took a look took a walk uh, around this side of the lake up to where you see the, the inlet is up there from uh, Middle Chain Lake where you see that green grassy area so much better. I hope uh, hope things are good the rest of the time. It was uh, very rainy from uh, last night all the way through, you know, midday today. Well, good morning, everyone. It's about uh, well, it's 9:35, and uh, I just uh, left camp about 15 minutes ago. It's a much nicer day. It's Wednesday, August 3rd. Um, so I'm uh, I left camp set up, and. Uh, <clears throat> taking a little day hike uh, up towards the north, towards uh, the rest of the Chain Lakes, and you can see uh, Middle Chain Lake is just coming into view in front of us. And uh, I might see how it goes. I'm gonna give myself about three hours up and three hours back. Uh, leisurely pace. <clears throat> uh, if I make it to Roberts Pass, great. You can see that ridge in the background. Uh, if you go follow that ridge to the right, that uh, that is where Roberts Pass is, where that terminates. Uh, so we'll see how far we get, but uh, take a few minutes of video here. The trail from camp is pretty much closed in. Nothing you haven't seen uh, in previous videos from particularly the first day. So uh, I didn't record too much of it. <clears throat> and uh, as with all horse trails it's a tore up rocky mess 
which is pretty much the whole thing. So this is uh, definitely a popular place for people to come up and just camp and fish. So there's a couple of the uh, guys I met coming up on the first day. I haven't seen them since then, but I know they're still here. And I got some horse people behind me that have been out fishing. So this is what the trail looks like. Thank you, horses. No offense to horse people, but uh, they make for some rough going for those of us on foot. We'll uh, stop here for for recording until we get some better views. You know, we'll see. We might have something coming up here. Lakes down there. All right, so a little bit better view of uh, Middle Chain Lake, and I was actually shooting for this to camp at. I think I'd mentioned that, but uh, I'm quite actually happy with where I am. It's a great spot. And there's uh, Mount Emmons in the back. A little bit of snow on the top still. So a quick look at Upper Chain Lake. Very pretty morning. Uh, appears to be... Uh, less populated than Lower Chain Lake, and I didn't see anyone along the middle. So, <clears throat> and then there is a fourth chain lake. Don't ask me how they conclude that there's lower, middle, upper, upper, and fourth. I guess they got to the fourth one and said, oops, <laughs> we already named one upper. <laughs> That's my only guess. So. I think uh, Fourth Chain Lake is elevation-wise, <clears throat> excuse me, is higher by a bit than uh, these other guys, and uh, so we're starting to get out of the trees now. <clears throat> Top end of Upper Chain Lake. Beautiful sunny day. I think it was about 50 when I left camp.
<clears throat> I think there are a few switchbacks between here and Fourth Chain Lake. I heart switchbacks. I got a belly full of those coming up here on the first day. Wow. And this this trail is rough. This trail is really rocky. Uh, big steps. And you really got to watch it. Honestly, I would have used my poles, but they're holding the tent up. But uh, they'll definitely be in use when they're not holding the tent up. So we're uh, climbing up above Upper Chain Lake and you can make out Middle Chain in the back. And uh, way off in the distance, I decided to name that Middle Finger Rock. I know, you guys will be proud of me. Anyway, but it is a cool, cool shot, so. So welcome to F Fourth Chain Lake. <clears throat> I didn't uh, record most of the hike up here because, quite honestly, I uh, it was a pretty rough, rocky path, and I wanted to have my hands free. But there is Fourth Chain Lake, and. Uh, this knob, this gap right up here, I believe that is uh, Robert's Pass up there. There's a little shorebird down there. I don't know if the, looks like a dipper, the way he's bobbing his tail. But I don't think he is, he's got a white underbelly. Anyway, enough bird nerd stuff. So yeah, very pretty. Up a couple hundred feet from the other lakes. Walk around a little bit. Well, all the people are at Lower Chain Lake, and I haven't seen a soul since I left there. I did forget to mention, I did see two backpackers come by me yesterday afternoon coming down from this way. Braver souls than me. That weather was no good yesterday. I spoke too soon, there was one group camped down there by the lake, Fourth Chain Lake. Get you a view back here. Climbing up towards Roberts Pass. We're looking down the way we came from. And the way we're 
we're going. <clears throat> So uh, I did check the elevation on Mother Gaia app, uh, 10,900 something at the lake, so we're probably right about 11,000 now, so I'm sure we've come up 10 feet, or 100 feet, whatever. <clears throat> not, not enough oxygen to do math up here. <laughs> Jacob, you can let me have it for that, buddy. One last view as we go up. So we're uh, about to lose the trees here. And we're looking at that ridge that runs uh, to the left, back to Emmons, Mount Emmons. Right there is the, uh, where it dips down. And the pass is right between that, right dead ahead of us. You can kind of see in the background through the trees, there's another ridge. So we go right between those. But uh, yeah, say goodbye to the trees, folks. This will be it for, not a good spot to see much behind us. <clears throat> I will say from uh, fourth chain lake up to here the trail is in about the best shape of the whole trip Not nearly as hard to walk on. Cool cliffs. Little gang, <clears throat> welcome to Robert's Pass, and uh, we're only about an hour, maybe an hour and 20 out of camp, and we're, uh, yeah, we're at it right here. We'll put a stone on that for good luck, but uh, now we're looking down into uh, Atwood Basin down here. So Atwood Lake is off to the left around this uh, ridge. We might go down a little ways, I don't know. So, and then the next ridge up there, actually it'd be around to the left though, is uh, Trail Rider Pass. And that dumps into, uh, uh, shoot, now the name escapes me, Painter Basin. And the High Line Trail goes through there. Uh, yeah, but, uh, <laughs> won't be happening this trip. But I'm glad we came up here. We might drop down a little bit and see what's down there. I got time. And there's Mount Emmons again, 13,400 and change. And now looking back the way we came. So here I'll give you all a wave. Hi, from Roberts Pass. Love you, family.
to go a little ways down here from Robert's Pass. <clears throat> of course, it means you got to climb back up, but it didn't take a genius to figure that out, which is why I'm here. see the trail going down through there we'll see where it goes maybe we can see up uh, Atwood Basin a little bit and stop and eat some lunch and then uh, I'm not gonna go all the way to that lake but definitely uh, glad I didn't try to come up through here yesterday this was uh, socked in up here didn't get any thunderstorms but sure it was plenty fun anyway, cold and windy and wet. So drop down just a little bit from the pass and uh, it looks like well there's looking back up at the pass there right there and came down this way there's actually a nice little spot to have lunch right there it's only 11 o'clock so only been a couple hours but uh, looks like the trail goes and drops back down into the trees and kind of been there done that so I may as well enjoy it up here and uh, have a leisurely lunch a little break a little uh, lucky horseshoe right there in front of my foot I don't know how the horse feels it lost it but anyway so yeah hi everyone greetings from uh, looking into Atwood Basin, and uh, unless I see anything spectacular on the way back, any you know real good views, we've already covered it, so I probably won't record too much. But yeah, thanks for coming along on this one. So I'll stay here and eat lunch, and head back to camp, and spend the afternoon there, and then tomorrow the plan will be to go down camp, pack up camp, and. Uh, Tomorrow night would be my last night in here, so I'll spend tonight back at the same place. Hike down to Sheep Bridge tomorrow. If nobody's there, I'll probably just stay there. It'll be about a two mile hike out Friday morning and I gotta drive back to Salt Lake. If somebody's there, then I'll punt and maybe go look for a spot in the campground or who knows, anyway. All right. 
Uh, I don't think this video is going to do this justice. I'm going to try and zoom in and not ruin this. But I'm coming back down. This is a Thursday, and I'm on my way out. Um, didn't video a whole lot, any, because I caught mostly the way up. But I hadn't noticed this on the way up, probably because I was sucking so much wind. But this is Krebs Creek, just a really beautiful shot. It's just it's a really beautiful, uh, lots of steep drops in this. But really pretty, so I'll get a little video of that. This may not be so good because it's in the sun. Alright, on the way out guys.